hey, uh, <clears throat> while that's going on, in your bulletins, you'll notice that we have the uh, Youth Venture newsletter. And uh, some of you will know that we, I think two or three weeks ago, we had that in there, but we included it again because on any given Sunday, there's a, a lot of our people that aren't with us, and I want to make sure you get the opportunity to read about what's going on at Youth Venture. Also, in your uh, bulletin, <clears throat> we announced we had a fantastic golf tournament. It was $38,000 plus raised for Youth Venture. Thank you for all you who helped. In this newsletter, in my article, I gave a little teaser, and I said our biggest news is our current endeavor to open our fifth Youth Venture Center in the East County area, and we weren't ready to announce it then, but we are today. We are opening our fifth center in Alpine, California. How many of you guys live in Alpine. If any of you guys from Alpine, I want to see your, see your hands out there. Okay, I see your people. Well, we're very excited about it. And what we're actually doing, a young man who I'm going to introduce to in just a moment, um, that I meet with regularly. We get together and meet uh, every other week or so. And he, had, he and his wife actually uh, came to Christ through this church. And he had a vision for opening a youth venture like, uh, a teen center like youth venture in uh, Alpine. And uh, he wanted to get the churches up there to support it and the people up there to support it. And we thought maybe it was a little far from us. And they've been going for 15 months. And now they've come to the place where they can no longer sustain it. But he's done a wonderful job. I want to show you a quick video of what's going on up there at the Alpine Youth Center. This youth venture has made my life better. There was no other place in Alpine for me really to go. What I like best about youth venture is um, just that happy people. and It's just a happy place, the atmosphere and the volunteers and all the people, the Bible studies. It makes it such a great place. What I like best is the people that work here. It's really cool because they have like Bible studies we do now, and so it's so it is really like a youth group that kind of thing. The leaders have really impacted my life because they're they're here to teach you the Bible, and they're just really nice, and they're always fun and nice to talk to. For me, Youth Venture is the funnest place. For me, Youth Venture is amazing. All right, I want to give a welcome. This is Joseph Vanderbilt. He and his wife Jessica have been going to church here for about uh, seven years. As I said, this church is very uh, instrumental in them becoming Christians. And I'm so proud of Joseph. You know. If someone had said we should open a youth venture in Alpine, I always thought, well, it's maybe a little far away. And, but uh, Joseph had the vision, and uh, he opened this youth venture. He's carried the weight of it, the financial responsibilities of it. And um, it just needs us to come alongside to make it work now. Yeah. But tell us, how many uh, youth have already come in in the last 15 months and filled out applications to be members. Uh, we've had over 300 kids fill out uh, waivers. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And uh, Joseph all, also has operated one of our higher ground clubs up there in Alpine at Joseph McQueen, and you just had your first, what's that? You said Joseph McQueen. Oh, Joan McQueen. <laughs> Joan McQueen. And uh, you just had your first meeting again this year. You did it last year. How many kids did you have? Uh, last year we ended up with 30 on our last day, and this year we started with 30 on our first day. So you're building. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, so what we want to do is we are going to pray for the center. Uh, you know, I was, in, I was so encouraged. The kids were already calling it Youth Venture. Yeah. This is really kind of, we kind of been, uh, 
it's kind of complicated how we got into it. We had to negotiate leases, so we started kind of helping part-time, and yeah. we weren't ready to announce it yet until we had everything in place. But one of the things that uh, we would like you to do, this is going to be a big responsibility for us to take on another center at Youth Venture. We want to take a kickoff offering, and uh, so that that will help to get us, you know, we don't, it isn't like when we heard about this, we thought, oh, yeah, we got plenty of money in volunteers, no problem. Uh, <clears throat> it's more like, how can we not do this? The center is not going to be able to stay open and maintain, and yet we can come alongside, and as a youth venture, we can take it to the next level, Absolutely. really, and be a lot more uh, effective even. So we'd like to take an offering today. Also, if you look on this card, you get out your microscope, the very bottom line, there's a box that says, yes, contact me with information on Youth Venture Alpine and opportunities to help. <clears throat> we need volunteers there. I'm telling you, people's lives change when they get involved at Youth Venture. You hear it all the time. Some of you live in Alpine. Even if you don't live in Alpine, uh, Joe lives in Alpine and drives down here all the time. It's what? How, how many minutes from here to the center? Just under 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So, and even if you look farther out in Lakeside or something, it's even less. So if you're even interested in finding out about helping with the center director directly, check that box, throw this in the offering, even if you don't have anything to give, throw the empty envelope in there. We'd love to talk to you. Joe is going to be at the table in the back. He wants to meet with you. He wants to let you know what's going on there. So let's go ahead and uh, say a prayer. Have I forgotten anything or anything you'd like to say? No, you covered it all. We're very uh -huh. grateful for, for your heart for vision, or your, for, for youth, and we're excited to partner and see these kids. They're getting, well, they're getting excited about it as well. Well, I tell you, the out, that one young man said that there's really not much for youth up there, and especially when it comes to Christian outreach for kids. Yeah. There's really not a strong presence among uh, the youth not of a Christian outreach. Well, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. yeah, other than what you guys are doing. Yeah. So, or what we're doing. So I just want to say thank you for doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like we needed a kick in the rear end to get up there. Thanks for being God's boot yeah. <laughs> and getting us started fun. and uh, opening that up. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's say a prayer. And then the ushers will come and take that offering. We'll get into the message. Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for what you've done. We want to pray for the young people in Alpine, Lord. And there are young people up there whose lives are going to change this year in that city and at Joe McQueen School because of the work that Youth Venture is doing. We just pray for a great harvest, a great outreach. We want every young person up there to hear about Jesus Christ. And we pray for Joe and for all those who are going to join him in his work up there. We pray your anointing, your protection, your oversight in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. All right, give him a hand. He deserves it. <laughs>